right, so let's start this top off and um, see what's up here. Hopefully if this is full of honey, um, we can just take this off and extract it in the next couple of days. Um, and that'll be the end of it, so... check every frame here and make sure there's no brood. If that's the case, I really doubt she's going to be up in here. Ah. We've got a bit of brood here. Let's look and see if we can find her up here. a spanner in the works. So if there's brood up in these honey creepers, we really need to get her under under an excluder and let this brood hatch out before we can do much with it. Been up in here recently. There's just freshly hatched eggs, which are now larvae, obviously. going down into this hive. So down into this old wall, so you can kind of see what a mess it is. Um, yeah, we'll never get the frames out. The frame's running that way. So I can see brood in here as well. So um, let's get down into the... Let's try and push them down a little bit. And let's get down into this brood box. Let's see what we can find down there. Or the bottom super, I should say. These aren't particularly happy to see me. Um, they're having a good old crack at my phone, actually. Yeah. We might just cut this a bit short. Let's see what they've done down here. <coughs> He's not touching that plastic. So, got a bit of a trick to try and locate this queen. It's not the greatest state of beekeeping. It's, although it's cool, it's quite... Yeah, I reckon she's up in that middle. Let's put this 
that together. And um, do a bit of a trick. What I'm going to do is put a put the excluder in here. Middle box, get another excluder on there. Ow! Oh, really? Not happy today. I think that's fitted pretty well. Lid back on. Ow. So that's our wonderful grunt strap. So we're back at this Cosford Land High for a few days. We've gone past three or four days. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, you'll recall I put a clean excluder between each of these boxes. I'm just trying to locate the clean. So uh, I've got another trick up my sleeve. We can't find it today. But um, we will um, get this hive sorted out eventually. So let's get in and have a look. Mm. It's up here, so an egg, an egg would indicate it's been here in the last three days. Find the honey. There's a bird with a cross here. It's got memory. So let's go straight in there and have a look. She was down in that mess of the box, the wooden, the wooden super. I've got a plan B for that. I've just lost the sun. over into the sunlight and I can't 
can't see any eggs in here. I'm looking for that queen. I'll just walk out to the sun again and see if I can see eggs. No eggs up there, so I'm pretty confident that she's um, she's somewhere else. So let's keep looking. Happy to see me these bees. Um, down into a wooden super. Um, it's definitely brewed in there. But as I've indicated before, it's just there's no way we're going to get any of those frames out. They are well and truly crossed up. So let's go to plan B. Um, off here. Them outside there. Got a bit of a scratch around down here, and just in case she is down the bottom, I reckon she's in that little box. Honey. Really not. Yeah, I do find her. She will get really clean. They are cranky. Nothing there. Ouch. Pretty confident she's in this middle box. I'm just gonna 
um, get this wooden sleeper down on the bottom and um, do a bit of swapping around up here. Grab this poly super here and put it on top of there without the cleaning fluid. Hopefully, the clean will come up into this into this poly super with these empty frames, and I'll catch her up in there laying. Mm -hmm. Throw this cleaning glitter on here. See how that goes. Um, Queen's down in here, I know. Um, there's no evidence of the renees of these supers, so Queen is glued to here. The plan is just keep checking regularly and catch her up in here at some stage. Um, keep her going in this super. Um, get this above her, Queen is glued to hatch all the brood out, leave it out for 21 days, hatch all the brood out, get her full of honey, and I can take it home and just um, pull it apart and crush it and get the honey out of it. So. Let's keep following this and, and see how we go. Right, so it's Sunday, 21st of January, uh, 2024. Um, back at this cross the Glen Hive, and the, the plan was always to um, to put an excluder above this super. Oh, this crazy thing. So I have a double brood box, if you recall. This, this wooden super down the bottom is just full of cross comb, and I can't get any of it out. So um, the plan was to hopefully catch the clean up in here. Um, on frames of brood and I've just opened it up this morning and I've got her here so she's a black stripey thing and these, <laughs> these are not the worst I've ever had but they're, they're pretty savage so at some stage we'll, when we get some cells we'll, we'll re-clean the tide so that's her there so what we're going to do now is um, put this super back on a, a poly bottom board and um, keep her down the bottom in, in a brood box, so we'll put another clean excluder in and put this super back up on top and leave it there for 21 days to get all the brood to hatch out. We'll put a clearer board on it and get rid of it. So um, we'll do that bit of rearranging now. Right. Get this 
super off. Now this box will be full of brood, and as I've said a few times before, um, yeah, we'll never get those frames out. Put that there. Rotten things. These are cranky bees. Rotten things. They are not happy. in a bit. Their new bottom board, their old bottom board back in place. Brood box down on the floor. Well, they didn't like me and they didn't like my dark already sweaty shirt. Still having a crack at me. Right. With their queen let out, she will be replaced with the first opportunity. Nasty bit of work. There she goes. Tidy these up. Put it on. And this super here that's going back on now is full of honey, and when I get a chance, I'll take it home and extract it. Ow. Now we'll just put this. Um, Perfect, but we'll just have to do for a while. Rotten things. Yeah, never put up with cranky bees, they're just not worth the hassle. Especially if you're in an urban environment, you know, just down and sting the neighbours or the neighbours' dogs. This whole brood box is up the top. Wait 21 days or a little bit longer till all that brood hatches out. We'll take it home and just cut and strain it or, or do something with it. Just um, or just throw it on a fire. Um, down the bottom here we've got the queen under a queen excluder. And this box is full of honey which I can extract. So at some stage I'll take this home. Find a few more hives here to the box off and um, we will extract that honey long term. Um, get rid of that queen uh, when I start doing some cells here and raising some queens in a few weeks we will replace her with um, great pleasure so that's the cross of Glen Hive almost fixed up <laughs>